Hello, guys. Uh, this is M200 Surgery, and this is Knowledge from GLP. And this is a gameplay of actually MW3, which comes out in stores tomorrow. We got a little early. Um, so right here, uh, I am using the FAMAS. I barely had just gotten it actually. Um, so far, I'm in love with it. Uh, this is like my second game, and I pretty much did a lot of work. And damage with it. I have no attachments, of course, as you can see. Um, it's actually called the what's it called? The type 95. Type 95. Yeah, I don't know why they they did that with a lot of guns. Yeah. For some reason, I don't know why, but I guess like since it's on you, whatever. Um. So we haven't talked about uh, MW3 in general. Um. What do you think, Knowledge? Do you like it so far? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a, it's a really great game. If I had to rate it, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. I think that, yeah, it's high. I mean, it's, I was worried about this game. I thought I wasn't going to like it. You know, Sledgehammer Games pretty much did most of it instead of Infinity Ward because they, they had all these internal issues. But now that I played it, it's, it's a great game. It's, to me, it's, it's almost a perfection of NW2. I fought the noobs. Yeah. That was noobish perks that we are so annoyed about. Yeah, like, let's talk about some of the things they took out. Like, for example, Commando. Oh, thank God. Danger Close. Last uh, Stand, right? Or Final Stand? Or yeah, well, they still got Last Stand. They got Last Stand, which I got mad about because some guy, like, killed me. And it was ridiculous, so I mean, I don't know why it's still there, but it is, uh, but we gotta deal with it. But most of the bad stuff is out, like one man army and whatnot. Yeah, all the, all the stuff that just was unfair, it would, I don't know, it would, it would un, unbalance the game. And even stopping power is gone. Oh, whoa, well, you whoa, look at that, just, just look at this. This look. commando, it's commando. I think commando is still alive, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but uh, if that happens to you, just don't, you know, don't rage quit and whatnot like a lot of squeakers do. Um, but, I mean, also, the game's not perfect. Like, it's... You know, Juggernaut on free for all is gonna be one of the. Is, is, you're not gonna want to play free for all anymore. Oh yeah. my God! I just got it uh, as like a in a care package. I got Juggernaut, and seriously, nobody could kill me. Like I turned on like five people and then loaded like their whole fucking clip on me, and I just turned on them and they'd die. Like yeah. I'd be pissed off. Like. Um, but hopefully, I think they'll patch it up though, because it's just ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Because the thing is, it takes it takes 18 kills to get it, but if you have your support strike packets, like your support kill streaks, you don't have to get them all in a row. You can just get 18 total, and you'll get the juggernaut. It's not like the the assault kill streaks. You gotta get them in a row, just like you always have. But now with the new support kill streaks, you just gotta get that total well, amount of kills. kills in your set. <laughs> Which I don't know. I don't know if that's that fair, but um, it's pretty cool if you get it. But I don't know. I mean, I, I like it for for just the regular game types. I think it's it's more team oriented because all the all the support ones are you know UAV. UAV, yeah. So it's not like it like really causes you damage. It just helps out your team a lot and gives them an advantage. Yeah, and, and I think it helps those players who who like don't necessarily you know maybe somebody goes nine and ten. But now they can help their team out. Oh, look at this. What was um, this? <laughs> I, okay, so the thing was, a helicopter was up there, and I, like, my initial thinking was, uh, like, destroying it, because I didn't know somebody was going to blow it down. Uh, and then I found out that they did blow it down, so I was like, fuck. Uh, okay, I'd look, try to look for somebody, and I couldn't find anybody, so that's what ended up happening. Yeah. Actually, yeah. with the Predator missiles, I'm kind of weirded out now. Like, it's kind of, I don't know. It's, like, it's harder to find people, and it's kind of annoying. Um... It's not as powerful as MW2, like most like Woo! times. Oh, you Jesus, saw that? That, nice. kill. that, kill. that was nice. That was nice. Um, and most of the times you get like double kills easily in the MW2. Here is like you get singles if you're lucky. Yeah, it's it's a lot weaker and it feels. I'm not sure if this is true, but it just feels like it's more zoomed in as soon as you go into the sky view. It feels like you can't see as much as the map anymore. So. You know. It's definitely they, but that that's not a bad thing. I mean, yeah, it's I, it was kind of like almost in MW2 when you got a pred missile, so you're almost guaranteed you're gonna get the Harrier right after. Yeah, exactly. This um, I mean, I remember them talking about like kill streaks in general. They made them more weaker. And it's more like 
you gotta play your game with a gun, you know, like, it's your gun, you know, you gotta know how to use it and just play skillfully and stuff. So it's more skilled the game now, um, uh, I, I have, I hate Death Streak still, like, I don't know why they're still here. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you're died six times in a row, it's cause you, it's cause you don't know how to play, like, you're bad. Yeah. So, you, I don't get why they still get an advantage. But still, even the things that they give you, like, uh, which one's the one they give you? Well, at least they, they took out Painkiller. Yeah, thank God. So the first one you get is Juice, and when you get Juice, all you, you get a speed boost. Juice when you spawn back in, which is stupid, but yeah. whatever. Um, well, also, let's talk, we should talk about the guns. Yeah, alright, Surgery, what's your favorite gun so far? <laughs> um, so far, I've actually... The FAMAS, um, this is uh, the last gun I've unlocked because I didn't get much time to play. Um, but FAMAS, oh my god, I fell in love with it from first sight. The M16, to be honest, is garbage again, once again, like in Black Ops. It is not up to its potential like in MW2. Um, but the FAMAS is great, it does work. Uh, knowledge, you, you, what's your fair gun so far? ACR all the way, man. You gotta, you gotta unlock it to I think level 50, but UAV it's online. just like it was in MW2. Is better. It's better because it's stronger and it's still as accurate. Just like the Famas is accurate. And not that's a that's a really big deal now because it takes, I think it takes a little, more, you know, more hits to take somebody down. So yeah. you gotta hit those headshots if you want to take somebody down quick. Yeah. And then did you notice it too? The recoil. There's a lot more recoil. Yeah, yeah, guns. yeah. Just, I like it. Yeah, but then they have those extra attachments now. Like, yeah. you have the, all the scopes, like, before uh, Deep Impact, which is FMJ, but then you have the proficiencies, which is, like, kick. Um, yeah, I like kick. Yeah, kick. Kick, cool. kick. I put kick on everything. That's pretty, pretty much, much yeah. grip. You just have grip. Which is awesome, I think. Yeah, and it's, it's necessary. It really is. Um, UMP, surprisingly, is not overpowered, like, in MW2 at all. Like, at all, like yeah, I, uh, it takes so much like to take somebody down, especially with silencer. And we know all of you guys use silencer on UMP and MW2. Yeah. It's the way to go. But in MW3, that's not the case. Um, you will see for yourself once you play it. Um, what's your thoughts on that? I mean, I am anybody who knows me knows that the UMP is my gun. <laughs> It is no longer my gun. <laughs> it is, it's it's not bad, but it's just it's, yeah, it's not overpowered. It's it's a balanced gun, and if you put silencer, it takes an extra hit or two to take somebody down. And if you're a drop shot fiend, then you can. Oh, drop it. shot's still back, guys. Yeah. Um. So pretty much. Also, real quick, quick scoping. It's back. It's you know, it's what they wanted it it to be, I guess. Um, but, uh, I don't know, you just gotta get adjusted, I guess, so, don't give up on it, it's still here. Um. No, yeah, I mean, Crystal Pain, I think it's, it's built for, I mean, the game is guilt, built for Crystal Pain, but the, the guns do feel different than they did yeah. before. Uh, the Intervention supposedly is back, it's but, the last gun. it's the last gun to unlock, it's but, the, what, the MSR? Something yeah. like that, yeah. but, to be honest, I played with it in a private lobby with my cousin, and it didn't feel exactly the same, um, maybe I just need to play with it more and now, just get adjusted, I guess, but, um, I don't know, it's not a big deal, I think, I think we could work with it. Um, the maps? How do you like the maps? Oh, actually? the maps are pretty cool. Yeah. It just feels nice playing MW3 because it's everything's new and stuff, and you know the new maps is always great. Um, there is a couple that are just like, eh, like yeah, downturn. Uh, down. That's oh, the New York. That's one. That's a New York one. It's pretty much like a big hole in the middle, and then you pretty much only have like like outside the, buildings outside, and outside. Er everybody's camping, corner camping outside buildings and outposts. Outpost, it's Outpost like the snow is, one, right? Like yeah, it, where it's just side. like it's one straight line basically, and it's just and there's surprisingly no action. No, right? you gotta run around the map. And the spawns point. like are pretty ridiculous in that map because yeah. like once you get to the other side, they start spawning immediately on the other side, and you're just like, oh, what the hell? Not to run all the way on the other side. So it's just it's not that great, but um, in general, they're all pretty good. Um, I'm. Not that many complaints about this game, like you said, it, 
Lucky gave it a 9.5. Yeah. It is a real good game, guys. I'm excited to play more, and you guys should be too. Um, so I think we're going to leave it off with um, showing you guys some cutscenes from MW3. And, and it, uh, yeah, well, well, I think I saw some of it, and yeah. I was really, really impressed. We'll try not to put too much. It's a, yeah, it's it's a like great a campaign. Just if you liked the MW2, MW2 campaign or the COD 4, it's just, it, this is intense. Like always. And, um, is that it? Yeah? I think that's it. Guys. Make sure you subscribe to GLP. It's going to be in the description. description. Subscribe to M200 Surgery. Yeah, guys, please. Please, please. And M200 Snipes, that's my uh, clan tag, clan team. And um, we're great. We want to get bigger. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Later. Late.